you can enhance your images by using direct adjustments or by using adjustment layers. I prefer working with adjustment layers as it is a non-destructive way of enhancing. Let me show you the difference between the two. Under the Enhance menu, we can see different automatic options which can be applied to your images. If you are in a hurry, you can apply a direct adjustment such as Auto Contrast. However, we are going to control our contrast and brightness manually by using adjustment layers which are located at the bottom of your layer palette. Select the black and white circle that you see right here. From the menu, choose Brightness Contrast. You'll notice that a layer mask appeared along with a set of sliders in the adjustment panel. The mask indicates that this is a non-destructive way of editing. All the adjustments are being applied to this layer while your original layer is safe. Move the brightness and contrast sliders until you reach a desired result. At the top, you can adjust the opacity of this layer if you wish. To see the before and after, I'll click on the eye icon. The great thing about adjustment layers is that they remain editable as long as you save your project as a PSD file. You can always come back to the file and make further adjustments. Another powerful aspect of adjustment layers is that you can paint over the mask layer. By painting, I really mean adding and subtracting. This technique allows you to recover, add, and erase. Let me show you what I mean. Select a brush from the tool palette or click the B key on your keyboard. At the top, you can select a brush size You have different modes, but I'm not going to use any of them. And you can change your opacity. Make sure that the foreground color is set to black. I'm going to double click and select black. Click OK. Make your background white. With black, we are going to erase our adjustments, and if we mess up, we can bring it back by switching the foreground to white. Let's see what we can do. I wish to recover this area right here, so I'm going to paint. I'm actually subtracting from this image. Let's say you mess up. This area is becoming flat again. You can easily fix that by switching the foreground to white. This is a great way of erasing. So this is what we had before, and this is what we have now. And if you think that this area is too bright compared to what it was originally, we can easily take that out. Switch to black. You can use the brackets on your keyboard to enlarge or decrease the size of your brush. And then you can start painting. If you think this is too much, simply switch back to white and we can bring it back. So this is what we had before and this is what we have now. This non-destructive technique will become very important as you become more advanced. Adjustment layers give us total control over our images. The same cannot be said for direct adjustments. I hope this makes sense. Cheers.